you have too much unwanted output in your Xcode console window? I'm gonna show you how we can clean all of this up to only show the stuff that you're interested, like your own print statements in your application. If you're working on a large application or you're working with another third-party framework or even Apple's code, you're gonna see a lot of output in the console window that's gonna distract you from the things that you care about when you're debugging or writing new code. In this video, let's learn how to filter output. So let's dive over to the filter bar and if you just click on it, we could filter in two different ways. We can write the word that we wanna filter by and press enter. That will add it and it will default to the any category. There's gonna be some options that we can use to customize this. So if we just click that little drop down, we can choose between these different options to further customize it. So the main ones you're probably gonna use are subsystem and any, and there's also an, a not operator, which is super useful. So this works great, but if you have other parts of your app that you wanna see, this doesn't work great. We're not gonna see any of those other print statements. We're just gonna see this isolated thing. And you'd have to annotate every message with the same sort of starting heading. So rather than do that, what we can do is we can look at the metadata. And if you turn on metadata, you can go to subsystem, turn that on, and you will see where this is coming from. And then all you do is you type a exclamation mark for not, and then you type in com.apple as the starting to match that com.apple identifier and then just press enter and then click off of this. This is for some reason showing up, but we don't want that. And that's going to give us what we want. And then we click on um, subsystem and that will give us this filter that's going to only show our stuff and we can have different types of output that will appear. Another way to write this is I believe not subsystem and then colon and then com.apple.enter. And if you do that, it'll give it to you in one go. Thanks for watching. If you like this, hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.